everybody. I have a small haul for you from my LSS today. I have a grandson and every time I scrub up pictures of him, especially lately, it seems like he's wearing navy and red and green. And I was running out of papers that I wanted to scrapbook him with. Um, I, lately it's been a lot of stuff has been red, white, and blue, and I'm getting kind of tired of that, wanted to bring some colors in. And just so I can show you this, um, Echo Park made this collection called That's My Boy a few years ago, and I think I picked this up as a collection pack at Hobby Lobby, but there were these great little boy colors with reds, blues, oranges, greens, there's some dark blue and some light blue in this. And I've really used most of this up. I have a little bit left, but not very much, you know, a couple cards. And I do have some stickers left as well. When I was at my LSS today, I found this collection called Little Man by Lori Whitlock. And it is again, Echo Park. And when I look at this, I think this is going to work really well with it. The That's My Boy, oh, and as I'm looking at this, That's My Boy is by Lori Whitlock, Whitlock as well. So this is why they're going to work together really well. So new one is Little Man by Lori Whitlock. But anyway, the colors I think are going to work great. The new collection is a little bit whiter than the older collection, but it also might be that um, this came from Hobby Lobby as a collection pack. So the, the um, original one that I had. So I'm wondering if maybe that's it. But anyway, so those colors work really well together, especially when I have solids and I'm mixing them together. You're not going to see that as much. Anything white background, maybe a little bit, but I don't know that that's going to really bother me. We'll see. Sometimes I can be a little bit OCD. So anyway, the new collection is called Little Man by Lori Whitlock, and there's this really cute... Um, almost looks like lifesaver paper, but it's not lifesavers, obviously. This one is called Dots, has a cute star. The next one is a really nice plaid with this little sort of like transportation map, like they have all those little rugs for boys. This one is actually called Plaid. The next one has these ABC blocks on it with a couple little motifs in between. And then this great green stripe. This is one of those that I think I'm going to regret not buying more than one of, but I'll just have to deal with it. This piece of, oh, and I'm sorry, the, um, the green stripe blocks is called blocks. <laughs> the next paper has airplanes on the A side. And then the B side is just this really nice navy polka dot called airplanes. I'm going to guess these are going to be simply named. This one is a really cute multicolored dinosaur pattern. And on the back, there's this fantastic stripe. And the paper is called Dinosaurs. This nice little um, pattern, a lot of white, but the, all the primary colors here with lots of nice words on it. And on the back is this really beautiful um, kind of a aqua colored star and it's called words. I should name these papers. <laughs> anyway, um, this one has um, a lot of like kind of like a little road with all sorts of trucks and transportation and that's what some of the stickers are that I have left and my grandson is three. He's really getting into cars and trucks and that kind of stuff so this will be fun to scrapbook something. Um, and on the back it's a brown diagonal stripe and it's called cars. This is a sheet of three by four cut aparts, some journaling cards and then um, other things. I really wish when they did this that they'd leave more space for journaling instead of some of these. Like this can be a great motif that you could cut out, but I really use journaling cards on almost all of my layouts. So I really like having some of these. And the other paper, I have very few left. I have a couple of four by sixes and that's about it. But anyway, so this is the journaling cards and this is called three by four journaling cards. Oh my gosh, but it has this great star background. This next paper has a bunch of borders on it. Um, so kind of cute, you know, some of the themes there, that kind of a thing. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I'll use this or not. I do have some border paper left from the other collection, but you know, we'll see. And the back is, is just this really nice light aqua color. And this is the border strips paper. Here's a sheet of four by six cards. And see, this is what I was talking about. In the four by sixes, which I would probably use a ton of these, 
there's only two that have a lot of room for journaling and I journal quite a bit on my pages but one of the things I've been doing is I've found things like this sometimes I'll journal on the top and bottom of these strips or like here now just because I you know, I don't want to say I waste them because you can use a pattern on the back side, but I don't use them as much. So anyway, these are the four by six journaling cards and it's four by six journaling cards. And look at this great red on the back. So, you know, I didn't notice this. I probably really should have bought two sheets of this because I know I will use this red for sure. But, you know, live and learn. And then this last one is kind of funny. It's a little frog print here called frogs and on the back it's this yellow um, six-pointed star so bright yellow six-pointed star so this is going to be just I'm, I'm so excited to have this in my hands it was something that I totally didn't expect to find when I was at my LSS but when I saw it as I was just walking through some of the racks in the back where they have the more themed paper I was so excited about it so this will be a great addition to my um, stash so Anyway, hope you're all having a great day. Take care. Bye.